Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share with you a few of the crafting books and business books and creative writing books that I've been using lately to not only improve my craft, but to also work on the business side of my writing career. So if you are looking for some new books that maybe you haven't heard of before and some that you obviously definitely have heard of, then stick around. I know, you guys know, I always talk about this book, but just in case you're new to the channel, Save the Cat Writes a Novel is the best book on writing that I've ever read. It gives you these beats that you should follow in the story. It's basically an, a, a map on story structure and all the beats that you should be hitting on your in your novel. So, oh, by the way, all the books will be linked in the description box below in my Amazon store if you guys are interested in getting it. But number one is this precious book right here. I love it. Save the Cat writes a novel. I also rate. I also read Save the Cat um, writes a screenplay, which I think it's called writes a screenplay. But anyways, I read that one too. If you are into writing a screenplay, you can also check that out. This one was the screenplay was first, but this one was second. But yeah, Save the Cat writes a novel. Number one on crafting a story that I've ever read. Just gonna put it over to the side. The next one we're gonna talk about, I actually listened to, and I got the recommendation from Bethany Atticetta. She's a YouTuber, author YouTuber here on YouTube. I'm sure you probably know of her. Um, it is called Seven Figure Fiction, How to Use Universal Fantasy to Sell Your Books to Anyone. So that one was an interesting read or listen because I did listen to it on audiobook. I listened to it in like one day. It was only like three hours long. Um, I didn't love it. I, I took some cool things away from it as far as like the topic universal fantasy. Um, but as far as the, the actual book, I wasn't loving it, but I wanted to share it with you guys in case it's something that you want to check out. Um, she, uh, Bethany loved it and I know that a lot of people are loving it. So I just wanted to bring it up just in case you want to check it out. The next book we're going to talk about is on my Kindle. It is called Understanding Show Don't Tell. And I absolutely love this book. It gives you so many examples on how to write a beautiful sentence that is not full of telling and full transparency here. That is something I struggle with. I feel like I can write a story, but as far as like, I struggle with the show not telling aspect of writing and i've really really been working hard to fix that this time around with my christmas novel so much so that my daughter i know you guys are gonna be like oh of course she's your daughter but she is my critique partner and and she says this is my best story yet she just finished reading it she loved it she was giving me feedback as far as like this is the best story i've ever written my writing has even improved so much like she's a reader like she's been a reader her whole entire life more than i've ever been she's she reads she's constantly reading so she's like really in tune with the with with the ways books are crafted and the way a story should be told and she absolutely loved it and i think i credit that to this book i'm using I, i'm telling you about right now and the next book I'm about to tell you that I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy. But anyways, this book is fantastic. And I've just learned a lot about how to structure a sentence, how to write a sentence um, more clearly, more descriptive, more just better all the way around. So make sure if that is something you struggle with that you check that out. The next book we are going to talk about it is, go back to Kindle because I got it on Kindle. And it is, let me go back. It is Master Lists for Writers. This book is fantastic because the author gives you a list of words 
verbs and just descriptions like let me go I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get to it sorry give me one second so we start off with positive or neutral emotions these include but aren't limited to happiness love desire amusement and surprise so she says things like she raised a brow he lifted an eyebrow his eyes widened her eyes bugged his eyes lit up her eyes darted he squinted she blinked her eyes twinkled i mean it just goes on and on with different emotions different negative emotions his brows knitted her forehead creased his forehead fur furrowed i mean this is just what do you guys say chef's kiss like this is the best this I think this one and Save the Cat are going to be like my new go-to favorite books for writing. This is such a helpful book for me. So I really wanted to share it with you guys because I think that, in fact, I know I'm not alone here and I know you guys are going to love this book. So I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. And then if you guys have seen my 2023 author goals in that video, I gave you guys an update as to what it is that I want to accomplish this year with my writing. And one of the things I want to try, because I'm so confident about this Christmas novel that I'm writing, I want to try to query this to agents. So my husband, knowing that, he got me this book, which is Writer's Market, 100th, the 100th edition. And it's been revised and updated with the most up-to-date information regarding age, literary agencies and publishing companies. And it is just such a great find for us authors, especially if we are trying to query agents instead of having to go. Um, there's nothing wrong with the internet, but again another truth be told i do struggle sometimes with finding things on the internet especially when it comes to things like this like just finding a database of a list of all literary agents that are writing and that are looking for rep for someone to represent or if they are looking for uh if they write ro if they represent romance or um you know just being really super clear on what they are looking for I think something like this that is all in one place. I love that idea. Um, this also have, let me just go through the book and mention a couple things that it has. It has um, a list of con contests and awards that you can enter. It's got a list of trade journals and consumer magazines that you can submit your work to. It's got a ton of book publishers and of course literary agents. I mean, like the first few pages like let me let me show you real quick like this whole section right here starts here and this whole section right here is all literary agents and I just love the idea of having it all in one place and if you've never seen this book before it basically tells you um, who they represent how to contact them and it tells you the agency's name, the name, the literary agency, where they at, their email, their website, their phone number, who they, like I said, who they represent, their terms, tips on how to submit to them. So it's a really handy dandy book to have as a writer. And let me see what else is this. Oh, it also has a list of, it says, how much should I charge? So it's got TV scripts, it's got magazines. If you write per hour, it tells you how to how much to charge per hour, per project or other. And it's got business screenwriting, comics, uh, content editing and copywriting, ghost writing, magazines, articles, magazines. So it tells you exactly how much you should charge per hour and or per project, depending upon what it is that you're doing. So yeah, guys, those are my top books I am currently using to improve my writing craft and the right the business of writing and being a successful author. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with all your writerly friends. And if you are interested in getting any of these books, I have linked them all in my Amazon store in the description box below for you guys. That is it for this video. I will see you in the next one next week. Until then, God bless you.